How do you do, buckaroos? How the heck are you? I am Don the Beer Whisperer. Hey, I've got one uh, given to me from a friend, uh, John Pearsall from Show Me Brewing. John had gone up to Minnesota and he brought back, uh, uh, gave me a, a few beers, two from Fulton Brewery. This is the second one. Uh, I had one yesterday, Sweet Child of Vine, so I'm trying this one today. Uh, <laughs> Fulton 300 India Pale Ale. 7% 74 IBUs. That's pretty big. We first brewed this Mosaic India Pale Ale to commemorate the 300th batch at our downtown brewery. It instantly became our most celebrated beer and we haven't been able to brew enough of it ever since. And yet, you found one in your hands right now. So there you go. Thanks, John, for getting this one to me. Uh, it's kind of like an, an apricot-like color, I'm going to say. Oh, wow. Uh, mosaic. Yeah, you can certainly feel the mosaic uh, in a big way. Notice huge grapefruit right away, um, along with some of the, those tropical fruit notes that you expect in mosaic. I'm also getting some peppery-like notes as well. Very nice notes. Uh, very nice indeedy. Oh. Chug a boom. Oh, wow. Um, whew, damn, that's good. Uh, that's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> Using my new Providence glass, one of my favorite uh, new breweries. Uh, a lot of grapefruit. I, uh, for me, anyway, grapefruit is the predominant flavor I get right away. There's certainly some stone fruit in the middle, though. I'm getting some apricot to go along with the color. <laughs> And again, that finish, there's, there's those peppery notes that I described on the, on the nose, uh, almost uh, like a, a more, more of a white pepper than a black pepper-like note right there at the finish. It dries up beautifully. Uh, again, there are, there are some of those tropical fruit notes that you typically get in a mosaic. And I don't usually get grapefruit that big, but I'm getting huge grapefruit notes here. Oh yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a great IPA. Oh, it's freaking! I can see, I can see why they can't keep it on hand. It's it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. Wow. So I didn't buy this one. Typically, I say if I'd buy it again or not. Well, I would. I would purchase this. I would purchase this gladly if it was available in my neighborhood. If I happened to be visiting out there, I would probably buy as much as I could so I could get it off to my other beer geek friends. It really is that good. Yeah, it's it's pretty damn impressive. Holy crap! Mm. Boy, the nose is just amazing. Wow. So thanks, John. I want to thank John. <laughs> John at Show Me Brewing. I love Show Me Brewing. You guys have heard me talk about that place. They do in their own beers out there, too. They, they do have some uh, commercial crafts uh, at the moment, anyway. Uh, but they're brewing their own stuff, which is just beyond amazing. So if you ever get to my neck of the woods here, uh, on the weekends, anyway, at Springfield Mo, uh, come visit uh, Andy, John, and Julie out at Show Me Brewing. Tell the Beer Whisperer sent you. John, thanks for bringing this beer to me. It's just awesome. I am the Beer Whisperer. I'm running for Beer Whisperer-in-Chief, and I approve this message.